Say hi, Piggy. <laughs> you cutie girl, are you ready to go bye byes? The girls and I are about to head out. I wanted to show you guys the loading process because I have a system going on today. I don't know what's going on with this lighting. I feel like I look, I don't know, a little like orange. And you guys know me, I don't really know how to fix things. So we'll just have to deal with that. So here is Piggy's back seat set up. I have a blanket covering, the gorgeous leather, of course. And then I have her booster seat here. This is a car seat. You can strap the seatbelt onto the harness and everything. It's nice and safe. It's buckled in with the seatbelt. Um, really sturdy, really safe. I have it turned this way because uh, I am gonna give her free range. I'm not gonna buckle her in and I'm gonna get crap for that, but she can hop in and out and she has the whole back seat and everything because she loves to look out the window. So I'm gonna give her some nice freedom. And then I always put up the center console, I just like lift up the lid because she always wants to come up front and sit on the center console and she would scratch that up like crazy. So I keep her back here. Normally oatmeal is back here in her car seat. So they're like side by side. And then it's, you know, things are very safe, but oatmeal has been doing like super bad in vehicles. I've told you guys about this before. Um, she just, she's not well with the vehicles. She is sitting by the door right now. She does not want to go, but I don't like to leave her behind. I like to take them out so they can, you know, be out and about and go bye byes My car in particular, she hates the absolute most. Mike even took her to the vet in the SVJ one time and she was scared, but nothing like she is in my car. She's like terrified of my car. I don't know if it's because of the noise. That wouldn't make sense because the SVJ is so freaking loud, but I think whenever he took her, he didn't have his new exhaust on yet. So I don't know. She just does not like the Urus at all, which sucks because that's my daily and that's pretty much what she rides around in. She's in the truck a lot because we travel in the truck um, and she does pretty well in the truck. But I am going to try something new today and I'm gonna have her sit up front with me. Now I'm really gonna get crap for this, but I have her seat faced the other way so she can't like flop out, not that she would. I'm gonna push the seat the whole way back so it's really far away from the airbags and everything. And then this is also like a car seat where you can buckle them in and stuff. And I'm hopeful that her being up front with me is going to calm her down. We'll see. But I am getting the girls loaded up and ready because we have to go pick Mike up. It's like a 30 minute drive. We're going to go pick him up because he is getting rid of a family member, I guess, of the garage collection. And I'm not gonna say what. We'll see if he wants to talk about it. He told me I could talk about it, but I don't really want to. I kinda wanna let him just have his moment on the Street Speed channel and his Instagram and stuff. So. We're just going to go pick him up and that's all there. That's all the info you guys need to know. So I have to get oatmeal. I have to get the poor babe. It's okay, honey. It's really okay. Yeah, you're gonna do so good. I wish you loved car rides because it's a lot of fun. Good girl, you're so brave. We got the girls all loaded up. Pig is back there. She's so ready to go. I have to get the worst part over with and that's starting the car. I think that really, really scares her because it's so loud. So I just like make like really weird noises. My seat is so far back. Mike must have been in here last. So we're gonna head out, go pick up Mike and we'll see you guys whenever we get there. We made it. We have right. Michael. Girls are ready to go. They're super hot. They went inside and saw all sorts of people. They had so much fun. And they did so good. They did so good. They were nice and excited. Well, oatmeal's always nice. Sometimes <laughs> Piggy can be a little bit She can bit be touchy like she with doesn't people. know. Yeah, she's definitely very protective of me. So I just wanted to point out the last time we were here, it was winter and cold right before Christmas and you were getting your SVJ babe. Yeah, That's the, the last time I was here. That's so crazy. crazy. And now it's super hot, middle of summer. All right, oh, I'll shut the door so oatmeal can have AC because she's so hot. <laughs> I'm on mom duty, oh so Michael's driving she's, for us. She's everywhere. <laughs> Piggy's down at my feet. I figured it would be cooler down there for her. It's super hot out. It's over 90 degrees. So I didn't know it was supposed to be that hot today. We have the air blasting. It was on full blast. and She's got the air. Bale's just, calm. she gets anxious, so she pants. Yeah, too. can't get her to calm down, down or cool hard. down. She doesn't even feel warm. It's definitely like a big part of it is just the stress. Uh, our next stop is the vet office. We had to go pick up some medication for a little oatmeal. I took them to their yearly appointment last week. I took them together. Luckily, I was able to get an appointment with both of them. Um, our vet is pretty far away, so it's nice whenever we can you know, 
know, try not to make so many trips, but that backfired because something's wrong with Odie, so we had to go get her medicine, and then we had to take her back for a follow-up in a month uh, for more blood work, but the poor baby, she got all of her shots, and she had to get two blood tests because they didn't get enough blood the first time, and then the doctor just called the other day with her results. Piglet is perfect in every way, but oatmeal's um, liver levels are a little bit too high. The vet said she's not concerned. She will be on the next blood test that we do if like things don't fix. So we're going to go pick up the medicine today, but I really hope it's nothing because it could be really bad and we might have to change the food that she eats and stuff. And I don't know, it's just always something, right Odie? We are back home. Mr. Yellow is watching The Office. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Man? This is something that Yellow loves to do. He loves to be under the coffee table. It's just a little fort for him. It's his most comfortable spot. <laughs> he just loves home. it so much. <laughs> Fun fact though, we had to get this table like a few years ago because the old one that we had, Mike would put like scorching hot plates on and he burnt the wood because he's just He's crazy. So whenever we went shopping for this new couch and this table, we literally had to carry this table across the furniture store. And Mike had to sit on the couch and everything to practice like he was editing and to make sure that Yellow could sit comfortably under the table. So we literally went specifically shopping to make sure that the couch was like the right height with the table and to make sure that it was the perfect table for Yellow's little den because he loved the old table so much. We are going out to dinner tonight. Mike is changing really quick and we're gonna go to Whole Hands. We love that restaurant, super excited. I love their meatloaf there. They have bang bang shrimp there. We love their nachos as well. So we'll probably get nachos, bang bang shrimp, and then I will definitely get the meatloaf. I'm not sure what Mike's gonna get for his course, but very excited because we're both very hungry. We're home, dinner was amazing. It was super packed down in Hershey. So whenever we waited, for our spot in the restaurant to open up. We just walked around the town, we got some Starbucks to sip on, and dinner was really great. And I had some leftover meatloaf, so I gave some to Yellow. He had a nice treat of meatloaf and gravy, and the girls did as well. And I figure since it's getting late and everyone's getting tired, we will have Yellow close off the vlog. So, yeah, say thank you guys so much for watching. We'll keep you guys updated with oatmeal. Hopefully everything is okay. Um, please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, we're a little nervous, but I think she's okay. So, we'll definitely keep you guys updated. So, say bye, Boog. Say thank you for watching. Michael is editing in the background, as you can hear. 